Hello everyone, this is Devin Adams. Uh, welcome back to our authenticating with the FortiGate uh, demo here with FortiOS 5.4. Uh, so in the last chapter we, we wrapped up our LDAP connector, uh, making the LDAP client with the FortiGate and, and doing all that fun stuff. So anyways, now we're getting into the real deal here and that is passive authentication. And that's where our users authenticate through the firewall without being prompted for credentials. Now. Uh, there is a client that does this, all right, and it's called the the collector, and uh, we're gonna have to download that and install it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it right on my domain controller. Now you don't really have to. Um, in fact, if I get anyone that says, "Hey, uh, we wouldn't do that in real life," I mean, I'll take the time to drop another machine in here. Yeah, I just gotta request it. Anyways, but uh, really where you have to start if you're going to do FSSO is that you have to decide how you're going to want to collect the user logins. All right, so there's a couple of different ways. We can use a, a DC agent, right, that will communicate with the collector agent directly. We can have the collector agent essentially do log scraping. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff to it. Uh, and instead of, instead of rambling on, I should just show you guys. And I, I hate to pull this card. Uh, but that's exactly why why you take my class or you read the 40 OS handbook uh, because there's just too much here in a in a short demo to explain it. But um, it also really comes down to to how complex your infrastructure is. So I mean I have one domain controller here, so uh, I'm I'm gonna actually install the agent on the domain controller with the collector agent. I have never done that before. All right. I've always used the log scraper because that's what we use in class, and uh, that's when it pulls the the login events. So that's what we're going to actually do in this video. Our video is going to be installing the uh, DC agent and the collector agent, and make sure that the two can talk to each other. So it shouldn't be too too hard because they're on the same uh, device. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and go to our domain controller. All right, we'll we'll log in. Okay. Now to get the collector agent and the DC agent, uh, we're gonna have to go to the support website. So um, here we are. Uh, all these VMs are running off of a laptop, guys. So that's why, uh, yeah, that's why it's not so slow or not so fast. So all right, so here we go. So support. Dot dot com. This site cannot be reached. Because it's not FortiGate, it's FortiNet. <laughs> Look at that little spaceship. He's lost. Get that guy some routing. All right. Or some DNS. There. No! <laughs> awesome possum. All right, here we go. Um, I was waiting for that. Now, why did I get prompted? I thought Sally was logged in, right? Well, guys. I'm on the domain controller. The domain controller has a different IP address. Therefore, it's prompting uh, um, the user with this IP address, like, who are you? So um, I'll just use my Devon account. And in fact, let's actually take a look at that super quick, OK? I'm getting on a little tangent here. No one's going to watch these videos. They're going to be like, why can't he stay focused? Blame it on all the Nintendo and, and uh, Twinkies that I ate growing up. All right, so here we go. Uh, monitor. Okay. Firewall users. And there you go. Devin and Sally. Support and marketing. See how there's two different IP addresses? That's why I had to authenticate. We're actually on two different machines. All right, so domain controller. My personal management PC that I logged in actually is Bill. Anyways, thanks, Bill. Maybe he left his computer unlocked. Anyways. All right, so here we go. Um, all right, just wanted to show you that. I thought it was kind of cool. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your support website. Now, you do have to have a Fortinet support contract to get here. Okay. Uh, hopefully, anyone who's watching this, that's not a problem. All right. Important message. Sure. Just maintenance. So we're going to come here to where it says download firmware images. All right. We're going to pick the 40 OS that we're on. So make sure this is 40 gate right here. Download. And we are using in these demos because that's what the NSC4 is up to. Um, 
All right. Five, four, eight. And we have FSSO folder. Pretty groovy, huh? So here we go. Now I'm going to use the um, I'm going to use the DC agent right here. Okay, so I am using 64-bit. So there we are. Which you know, it's so weird that there's a 32-bit one. Like, is someone really rocking like Windows Server 2003 still? I'm not judging. You know what? I'm gonna back up. That's just mean. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Um, and then also, I want the collector agent too. So uh, let's go ahead and get the collector. So once again, guys, the DC agent's going to report login events directly to a separate program. All right, called the collector agent. Now, whenever I installed the collector agent, it prompted me if I wanted to download the, or I, I wanted to install the DC agent too. So I'm actually going to try to run this first to see if the DC agent isn't nested in that installation file because I always wondered about that. Um, and like I said, I usually only did the log scraping because that's what we did in our labs, right? In our Fortinet labs in class. And, uh, I just want to try something different here. So here we go. And I do have a video on this too in a different series that we do a more a more simple walkthrough. So uh, but here we are. We're gonna say next. We're gonna do the license agreement. Okay. Where to install it, that's fine. Okay. Now it says the user account on which to launch the service. So you must be an administrator user. So username must be in the format domain name username. If you want to use a local account, either use the dot username. So that's fine. I mean, it just has to be an administrator account. So um, just something to keep in mind there, guys. All right. I'm just going to use the one that I did for this local machine. All right. Now this is saying monitor user login events and send the information to the FortiGate. Is that what you're using this for? Well, yes it is. All right. Now this is a completely different topic. Okay, but I'm just going to leave it checked because it doesn't hurt. I'm not even going to go there. Uh, I've never seen this used personally. Uh, but here we go. So in my other video we did standard and this was for an easy setup of flat username situation. All right. Um, we're going to do advanced. So and the reason why we did advanced is because it's going to use that LDAP configuration that we already did to do a more specific uh, user lookup for our groups. All right. So uh, in other words, this supports things like nested groups. Um, also beyond just having a single layer of, of, of grouping. Um, <laughs> but mainly why I'm using it is because I already did a video on the standard. So. Let's hit next. Let's hit install. It's going to go ahead and install the collector agent. And if I was doing these videos right, you know, I'd probably pull out slides and show it then, you know. Um, but anyways, here we go. See how it says launch DC agent install wizard. So I've always wondered like, okay, is the DC agent, you know, already installed? or already nested in here so all right guys now this is important it's saying hi welcome to the agent now where is your domain controller now the domain controller just happens to be on the machine that we're on the only real caveat here is that you have to have ports 8002 on your domain controller open and listening if it's not if it's not being installed on the domain controller that's the only time I've seen this fail okay um, and that's also true with um, with uh, just doing the log scraping too. So let's go ahead and hit next. Now it's saying where's your domains? Well, I found it. There you go. ITNinja.lab. Next. And now it's saying, are there any groups here that you or any users you don't want to monitor? Now this list might be huge. Okay. So this is just kind of trying to help us with the with the user filtering, the group filtering. Uh, if you see anything here that's evidently not something you want to uh, uh, monitor, like I don't want the administrator account, right? I don't want anything like Kerberos. I don't want anything like guest account. 
All right, so go ahead and check those off. And these are going to be like service accounts or, or admin accounts. Why are the admin accounts not being tracked usually? It's because, well, even as administrators, right, we might be all over the place. So uh, anyways, but um, yeah, so there you go. And now it's saying, do you want DC agent mode? See how it says this will install the DC agent? Or do you want to do a log scraper? Now, what do I mean by log scraper? It actually takes the security event logs and, and parses through them and finds the login events and passes them to the FortiGate. This actually creates a service on the uh, domain controller itself to report login events. And it is the recommended way from... Uh, Fortinet. They're the ones that suggest that you should use this one. So, uh, so let's go ahead and hit next. All right. Now here's the. You guys better have a good relationship with your sysadmin. Hey, can I install this? This it's a DLL, by the way. Can I install this little agent on your domain controller? And by the way, I'm gonna have to reboot it. <laughs> so, I just laugh because you know I'm also uh, an MCT, and it's just like, if I wasn't uh, very. Uh, close to my Fortinet administrator and he asked me if I wanted to install a DLL on my domain controller that's going to reboot it. I tell him to go lick an egg. Uh, but here it's okay. That's fine. Um, I don't know why that cracks me up just because I can just see the look on on our sysadmin's faces I guess. So what are you talking about? Anyways. As you can see, the little the little uh, hourglass is there, so it's it's doing its thing to power power it down. So, all right, guys, I'm actually gonna hit pause, and I'm gonna let this thing reboot. There's no point of hearing me ramble on, um, but I promise not to touch anything until it comes back. Like I said, the whole point of these videos is to get away from the whole YouTube magic of um, it just working, right? So, I'll see you guys in just a few moments. All right, here we are. We are rebooted. I hate how my test lab, by the way, is always a few hours ahead. I'm going to have to troubleshoot that one of these days. I should be using uh, NTP. All right, anyways, let's log in. All right, so here we go. All right, awesomeness. So, okay, we got the, the DC agent running and also the collector agent and uh, good times. So, um, <laughs> cute. All right. Probably because I got a little too too click happy there. So. All right. Here we go. So I'm just gonna close out of this. Okay. So, and uh, you know what? It's about 12 minutes into this video, so I'm actually gonna stop there. Okay. In the next video, we're actually going to configure the the collector agents. All right, so like I said, I'm trying to break these up as, as uh, granular as possible. I hate that word because I use it too much, as, as specific as possible. So there you guys go. We, uh, we installed it, okay, but we have not configured it yet. So I'm going to stop it here, and I'll see you guys in just a few minutes.